Mr. Beagley! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing the game Romance Detective 2. Now last episode, we went and we investigated the old lab where all of the Rose experiments had been done before, and we found very little evidence, there wasn't much there, but someone was telling us, so we went out and we tried to find out who they were, couldn't figure it out. So, we're back here at the police station, we talked to Lupin for a little bit, and then Cupid showed up, and we're not exactly sure what Cupid's here for, but... Cupid did reveal that Cupid is either a female or possibly gender fluid or agender or something like that. Honestly, my official thing on that, because I know a lot of you guys were leaving some concerned comments, is I don't care what Cupid is. Cupid could be a fish for all I care. Cupid is cool, so I therefore inherently think that Cupid is cool. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and continue the story and see if we can solve the mystery this episode. Wait, Cupid, was there a real reason you showed up? You don't seem like the type to appear just for a problem as small as Lupin. You're right. How's the case going? Find out anything new? We've spoken with my mother. It turns out she was involved in the research that led to our current situation. Except all that stuff happened over two decades ago, and we have no idea who picked it up again. We're kind of at a dead end right now. Hmm, well, keep up the good work. I'll be around. Thanks, Cupid. See you later. That was a little abrupt. Yeah, that was pretty quick. I guess we should get going too, huh, detective? Indeed. The festival awaits. Alright, so we now have a choice of going to Canary's Mansion or going to the Spring Festival. I say we drop by Canary's Mansion first, just to get all the little side stories, just because I like them a lot. And we'll see if there's maybe some extra clues there as well. So we're going to Canary's Mansion. This is pretty early in the day still, 10.45 a.m. Hi there, Canary. Good morning, oh Delphine. Or, oh, Delphine told me all about the evil moon roses, so don't worry. I never even left my room yesterday. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, obviously, considering you would have been asleep anyway, right? <laughs> so, uh, Canary is a very lazy idol when she's not, like, performing. She's just sleeping all the time and lounging around. Nope. I was up all night long working on music for my next album. I think I'll take a nap before I have to go perform at the festival. Okay, so maybe she is pretty hardworking. I might have, uh, you know, pegged her wrong. You've always had an irregular sleeping schedule, haven't you? Are you sure you'll be okay to put on a show? Hey, I'm the same way here, Romance Cop. I know what it's like to get weird sleep. Like, right now, I'm recording this at, like, 4 in the morning. So, you know. <laughs> I just can't help it when I get inspired, but don't worry about me, Chrissy. Performing fills me with energy. There's no way I'd be sleepy in front of my fans. Impressive. This must be the fabled idol superpower in action. I never thought I'd encounter it firsthand. Superpower? Ooh, I want to be a cute magical girl. My music will unite everyone's hearts against evil, or something like that. <laughs> my partner and I will proudly cheer you on from the sidelines, won't we, Romance Cop? I feel like I'm getting swept up in something I don't really understand, but all right, I'm happy to support you, Canary. Mm, yeah, if I had a cool powers like that, maybe I could protect Delphine instead of the other way around. Aw, how cute. Oh, that reminds me. Hmm, Chrissy, I have a super secret question for you. Come here for a sec. Huh? Um, okay. <laughs> what is it? Hey, hey, you know, the two of you seem even closer than you were yesterday. Did you have a good night, too? Oh, man, all the saucy details are going to come out. But what are you asking? You wouldn't know anything about that kind of... I, I mean... Chrissy, I'm not your baby cousin anymore. I know from experience. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, Miss Canary, shouldn't you be getting ready for your nap? <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Delphine. What would I do without you? Oh, man. So the two of them have definitely hooked up, and <laughs> Canary's just teasing her. Man, what a little minx. That's all I gotta say there. See you two at the festival. Good night. <laughs> you look flustered, Romance Cop. D don't worry about it. Let's just go. <laughs> I guess we're we gotta go to the festival now, guys. That was a funny little side story. I like that one a lot. Alright, so 11 a.m. Love Bloom Annual Spring Festival. It's still early, but I'm already seeing some familiar faces. I guess everyone in town shows up to this thing, huh? Correct. This is a good opportunity. We must question everyone we can. I thought you agreed we should enjoy ourselves a bit here. Can't blame you for wanting to do our job, though. Let's start talking to people. Okay, sure. Okay, so we can just click on whoever. So I don't know who these people are, but uh, I guess we'll just start in the middle here. You talk to Sage and Narcissode. They give you food. Oh, cool. Okay, so they're here at the festival. 
We get to actually talk to them? No? Okay, so that was like a really short scene. I wonder if there's like supposed to be a scene there or something and it was just unfinished. All right, so uh, let's talk to these two over here. Oh, it's Flower Guy. Hey, what's up, man? Romance Detective, Officer Chris. It's been a while. How have you been? Hi there. Oh, this is embarrassing. We never got your name, did we? It's Steven. Are you enjoying the festival? As much as we can. We are currently investigating a case of utmost imp importance, but Romance Cop insists on relaxing here for a while. This is her first time coming to our beloved Spring Festival, though, so I would like for her experience to be as full as possible. Maybe you could quit reminding me of the impending doom we face every chance you get? I am actually having fun, as long as I try not to think about that stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Impending doom, huh? Being a policewoman and detective must be tough work. Here, take a sugar cookie. You deserve it. Oh, I love sugar cookies. I wish she would give me a sugar cookie. Oh, hey, it's the um uh, romance thief, the little girl from the first game. Oh, look at her. She's so cute with the flower crown. Hmm, these are really good. Homemade, right? It's my grandmother's recipe. They were my absolute favorite when I was little, so I'm happy to be able to share them at events like this. I can taste it. The love for your community, baked into each bite. These are simply incredible. Oh, hi there. <laughs> She's creeping closer. Hey, you guys better not be ignoring me on purpose. <laughs> My reformed adversary, romance thief. You're so small we must have overlooked you. I apologize. Hi there, Daisy. Are you causing trouble for poor Steven again, are you? No way. We're even platonic friends now, right, Stevie? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> platonic. Yes, Daisy here has been very helpful with setting up my little love bloomery stand this morning. Aw, how cute. Hiring a former criminal, the size of your heart must be immense. My respect for you doubles by the minute. Hey, hey, I respect them way more than you do. Wanna fight about it? It's so cute that she has like a little puppy love crush on Steven. Sounds like you still have a crush on him after all. Aw. <laughs> nuh -uh. he's actually super boring once you get to know him. All he talks about is flowers and baking. I'm just friends with him because I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> she can be quite a handful, as you can see. Where are your parents, young lady? I want to have a talk with them about your behavior. Uh, don't tell on me. I'm being good. Don't send me to jail. <laughs> she's, she's fled. I would normally chase her down, but alas, we must save our energy for what's to come. <laughs> there you go, bringing up the case again. We've got plenty of daylight to spare. It doesn't do us any good to keep worrying about it right now. If you'd like to do something relaxing for a while, why not plant some flowers around town? That is what the festival is all about. You're absolutely right. Surely having a job to focus on will distract us from unnecessary stressful thoughts. Oh, okay. Um, let's go plant some flowers or I'm not ready yet. Let's go ahead and say I'm not ready yet. I want to talk to the rest of the people here at the festival. See if there's any other ways that we can get more clues to what's going on here. That sounds wonderful, but I still want to look around before diving into a mini project like this. We'll come back in a few, okay? Sure. Take all the time you need. Aw, oh, how nice of that guy. Alright, um, who's this last set of people out here? Oh, it's the uh, the punk Ivy and uh, crap, I forget her name, but we'll find out here in a second. I'm not saying we have to dump highlighters into the frosting mix, but they'd be way more authentic as toxic cookies if we did. It's not illegal if it's in the name. <laughs> uh, Ivy, look who's here to arrest you. Ah, uh, Aster is her name, that's right. You two again? I'm sticking to my guns. You're not taking me without a fight. <laughs> um, we're not here to arrest anyone. We're just enjoying the festival like regular civilians. Uh, oh, it's uh, Ms. Bell. I thought I saw you too. Thanks again for your help the other day. Don't mention it. Solving cases like that should be expected of us after all. Still, I'm so relieved these two girls were able to pull it all together on such short notice. Our humble little stand has attracted so much extra attention thanks to Ivy's unique vision. My aesthetic is top notch. Of course it'd make everyone want to come and buy our goods. <laughs> what sort of confections do you have available? I'd like to browse your selection. Right this way, ma'am. <laughs> Romance Cop, I've purchased this small heart-shaped cookie. I I'd like you to have it. Aw, how cute. They're so freaking adorable. I love it. Ah, oh, Detective, I love it. Now, it's delicious, too. Excellent. I seem to have chosen well. You did indeed. I could almost taste the romance. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> How cute. Okay, so we've talked to everyone. It looks like there's this sign in the back that says Spring Fest, and it doesn't look like there's anything else here. So let's go ahead and click the sign. Plant a flower and make the world a little brighter. Uh, what a nice message. 
Every year, Love Bloom citizens are encouraged to participate. It brings us all together and makes our city even more beautiful than before. That's like a really nice message. I like that. I wish there were more festivals like that. What a fun little festival. I wish they had these kinds of events elsewhere. Yeah, seriously. I would be curious to visit the city you grew up in. You always make it sound so... How shall I put this? Different. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not that where I came from was bad or anything. It's just that Love Loom is really, really nice. If every city is indeed not as nice as Love Loom, it appears we have much more work to do. But that is a matter for another day. Detective, I'm honestly scared of what might happen if you went out into the real world. You're too innocent and naive. <laughs> but I can't forget how tough you are either. As long as we're together, all the sadness in the world can't break us. Aw, how cute. Alright, so I guess we gotta go back to Steven and leave here. So, are you ready to get planning? Let's go. Let's go plant a flower. I guess that's the only way to advance the plot here, guys. Gardening is kind of fun. I have always thought of making a hobby out of it. It is a very popular pastime in Love Bloom. You seem to have grown well accustomed to our city. <laughs> I guess I have. Everyone is so friendly. It's hard to imagine anyone couldn't get used to living here. What do you think of the festival, Romance Cop? Are you enjoying yourself? It's wonderful, or eh, it could be better. Why would we be a jerk here? That would be, like, really freaking rude. Um, it's wonderful. Absolutely. I'm happy we get to spend time like this together. Thank you, Detective. Y yes I feel the same. Aw. Romance Detective is like so freaking shy it's adorable. Canary is scheduled to perform soon. Should we begin heading in that direction? Hey Detective, I kinda feel bad that Lupin's going to miss out on Canary's show. Really? After everything that's happened you pity him? Well, he is her fan, even if he's kind of awful. <laughs> it feels cruel to keep him locked up during an event like this. Then you're suggesting we visit the station? Yeah, maybe we could let him off on a good behavior. We'll be here in case anything goes wrong, so... I don't know, I think it's the right thing to do. You're very considerate, Romance Cop. It's true, we cannot keep him in prison forever. But we've got to act tough and not let him know we're here to, there to release him. I'll play bad cop. <laughs> mm -hmm. I cannot imagine you'd be very good at that role. <laughs> That's sweet, but I can be mean if I want to. You'll see. <laughs> oh boy, we get to see her, like, vicious side. So, 425, Love Bloom Police Station, we're here to harass Lupin. Hi, Lupin. In case you were wondering, the Spring Festival is amazing this year. <laughs> the weather outside's great, and Canary's putting on a show soon. Oh, but you probably already knew, huh? <laughs> What's up? You're not gonna ask to be let out? Who cares about that? I've been too busy thinking about what that Cupid guy, or goddess, person, was saying. <laughs> I sense a major development. I think we're about to hear something incredible, Detective. Go on, Lupin. Tell us more. If you're just going to make fun of me, then forget it. We're sorry. We won't make fun of you, promise. Whatever. You know how Cupid gets to be a complete weirdo narcissist, and yet I am unfairly locked away for innocently indulging in my hobbies? I thought about how my displays of love, while great, are a little intense, and I guess I kind of get why you treat me so awful. Oh, wow, he's turning over a new leaf. Even though my intentions are nothing but pure, Canary, I must have just scared her with my romantic tactics. That's why I ended up here. To call those actions romantic, as I feared, his delusions are too strong for him to fully mature. <laughs> He's on the right track at least, probably. <laughs> we shouldn't have expected him to do a complete 180 in just one day. Moving on, as for the whole you guys arresting me thing, I accept your apology and I forgive you. <laughs> He's very delusional, I love it. No apologies were offered, but I am relieved to see you are at least capable of forgiveness. Lastly, I know I caused some trouble for you two, so I swear I'll make it up for it by being good from now on. Okay. Is that humility? There's gotta be some strings attached to this, right? All you have to do is let me out. I can't make any real changes from in here, you know? <laughs> what do you think, Detective? Can we trust him? Come on, I wouldn't have said all that junk if it was just trying to trick you. Have mercy. We must believe in all people if we are to fight in the name of romance and love. Tonight, we have witnessed a small development in a nearly irredeemable individual. May you continue to grow and change for the better, Lupin. You are free. Aw, how sweet. Y yes freedom! <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later, Lupin. I love the writing in this game. It's so funny. Not even a thank you. Well, whatever. If he messes up again, we can just toss him back in here to reflect on his crime some more. 
Indeed. Let us hope that it doesn't come to that. So, what do you think, Detective? Was I a good enough bad cop? Ah, uh, you were serious about that? I must have failed to notice. <laughs> yeah, she didn't seem very awful or anything. She seemed like still pretty nice for the most part. Geez, I guess I can't escape my regular old good cop nature. Oh well, let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, wait, did Lupin drop something? It's the Chief's eye patch. His waste to re-enter society must have caused it to fall from the desk. Or his haste to re-enter society must have caused it to fall from the desk. I didn't realize she'd already healed. Was it the chief? Or what is the chief made of? How odd! A black eye shouldn't be able to vanish so suddenly. Could she have forgotten it on accident? No harm in bringing it with us, if that's the case, right? I hope we run into her soon. It feels like forever since we last spoke. Yeah, where the hell is the chief? She's been missing forever. You picked up the chief's eye patch. I wonder if she's going to be at the festival. You get to the stage area as Canary walks out, but someone else you know takes the microphone. And before we find out who that person is, guys, we're once again going to leave this on a cliffhanger. I think that we accomplished a decent amount. We freed Lupin. We went to the festival. Some absolutely adorable developments took place. I really love this game. Like I was saying before, it's very, very cute. The writing is really funny and quippy. And all the characters are just like, they're all developing, like by small little bits here and there. But it's like true development. Like you feel it as you read it and I love that a lot about this game I really like this universe that this is set in but anyway guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please be sure to hit the like button share the video in favor today. also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world I love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing ya bye bye Derp,